guys, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today it's the second uh, video done in the gym. It's going to be my seven go-to exercises, working into your lower body and your upper body, and particularly aimed at runners. Now, uh, a lot of these exercises are done in particular because you don't need any weight. So you can do these at home or you can do them in the gym. And today the guinea pig is Nile. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, so the first exercise is squats. So basically with squats, now it's going to be the guinea pig here. What we're looking for is your feet are going to be shoulder width apart. Because there's no weights, your hands are out in front. You're going to keep your back straight, your chest up, eyes up. And we're down as deep as we can, slow. And then from the bottom, you're powering through. So you're down for three, two, one, press through. Never looking down, okay? Now, if you find that you're only getting about halfway down and then the heels start to lift, what we would recommend is getting a wedge like so, or maybe a piece of wood, or even anything basically lift the heels. Nile's going to stand on, on that. What that does is it keeps his heels planted on something solid, and he's able to get low, okay? So with squats, you're always trying to get as low as possible, but never fast. Roughly three seconds down, and then stand tall, but always eyes up. So second exercise with your legs, it's going to be a rear lunge which predominantly hits into the quads, the front of the legs. So while you're doing, like your squats, your chest is big, eyes up. Now it's going to step back, dropping slow, knees close to the ground but make sure you don't touch it and then he's stepping forward. So it's roughly three, two, one, pull forward. So what we're doing is we're alternating it, okay? You don't want to go too far out, otherwise you're just going to stretch your leg and you don't go too close, you're going to take too much impact into the quad muscles. But just making sure it's nice and slow, stand not tall, and we're roughly talking about 10 or 12 reps. Okay, so exercise number three is a wee bit of walk lunging. So instead of going backwards like your rear lunges, you're going to be seven forward. So again, chest big, you're stepping, you're dropping the back knee, but instead of going back in yourself, you're going to pull forward. So it's stepping through. Okay, now you only need a wee bit of space. Okay, so maybe after three, you're going to turn around and then you're back. But keep it slow. Three, two, one, step through. Loads of balance, loads of core work, accent. So exercise number four to round up the legs is calf raises. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make sure we're on a wedge. Our heel is off the wedge. If you can notice now, he's just really tall and straight. So that's what the weight's gonna be in this exercise. And what he's gonna do is from his heel on a full stretch, he's gonna lift up nice and high, it's like up at high heels, and then he's down roughly slow. And then again, he's exploding up, okay? So it's going to bring all your calf in and it's going to bring in your Achilles, which is really important whenever you're running. That's what's going to give you your energy for whenever you're exploding forward. Okay, so again, it's slow down, get a big stretch and then standing up tall. If you haven't got a wedge at home, you can do this on stairs or you can maybe do it on a fireplace. Just making sure that it's something solid that you're able to put your full heel over. Okay, so we're now going to head into our upper body muscles. So what we're going to bring into play is your chest muscles with your shoulders and your arms. Okay, so now it's going to demonstrate a press up. So the harder version is your knees lifted off the ground. If you can notice now in the camera, he's got a nice straight back. So that's where his core and his abs have to engage. He's going to drop slowly. His elbows are coming out to the side. That's going to put a stretch in the chest and then he explodes through. So try to get as deep to the ground as possible. Three, two, one press that's it now you always must go low okay if you don't go low you're not bringing your chest you're only going to focus on your triceps now if that's too hard for you what you've got is an option you're going to go on your knees your feet are lifted off the ground but again keep your back really straight it's not your bum lifted up in the ground and you're dropping three two 
one, press. Three, two, one, press. <laughs> exercise is working into your back so it's body weight hyper extension so what Niall's doing he's lying on the ground his fingers are going to go on his temples his elbows off the ground pointing backwards and all he's doing it's only a small lift he's lifting now he's lifting from his lower back he's bringing his glutes into play and he's bringing his hamstrings into play now it's very hard to get a uh, big height in this if you haven't got assistance but if you are seeing the gym and you're buddying up with someone Get them to hold tight on your ankles, and then what you'll notice is Niall's now able to get that wee bit higher, okay? But making sure you're not dropping down quick, you're just nice and slow on the way down. Okay, so the last exercise working into our upper body, um, and the last of the video is a side raise or a lateral raise, which is going to bring in the shoulder muscles. Yeah, so what he's got is he's got a set of dumbbells in his hand. Now if you don't have dumbbells at home, you can use say a tin of beans or a water bottle filled with say a sand. Um, you really want it to be around about two to four kilograms. So what Niall's doing is nice straight arm. All he's gonna do is lift nice and quick, shoulder height, dropping for three, two, one. Then again, lift quick, three, two, one. Now what you don't want to do is what Niall's going to show us here, where you're going to be swinging up, okay? If you find that you're swinging up, you're using too much of your stomach and your lower back to get that swing, you need to drop the weight, okay? The main thing is to keep the uh, arms straight, it's quick up with a three second down, and again, roughly in around about 10 or 12 reps per set. That's it, my seven go-to exercises aimed at runners. Uh, can be done at home, can be done in the gym. Don't need any weight by yourself. Just make sure with a lot of those exercises as you've seen in the video with Niall, uh, making sure you're going down nice and slow with time under tension of roughly three, two, one, and then pressing through hard away from the weak point of the exercise, okay? So on the screen here um, is a list of what I would recommend. Try to run through each exercise, maybe three rounds, and probably hitting about eight to 12 reps, um, particularly just starting off. And as you progress, just adding a wee bit of weight in between, okay? So it's interesting to see what you're doing in the gym at home, so if you can comment below, and while you're at it, if you can hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and you'll be notified of any future content, okay? And until next time, see you later.